Um, okay, now moving on to some more topics in regards to January 6th committee. And look, folks, this has been almost literal torture dealing. <laughs> I mean, to be in our position where we are constantly bombarded, Gans and I and many of our producers as well, you know, paying attention to the news, reading every article that comes out, connecting the docs, figuring out what's, you know, what's what's bi- what, not bias, but what's narrative crafting, what's facts, what's going on. Oh, my gosh, has it been insufferable dealing with the onslaught, the, the <laughs> veritable tsunami of yeah. articles coming out, many, many, many of them coming out from non-news outlets, but more like lifestyle, you know, social engineering outlets of just... Basically, headline after headline of like, ooh, Trump did a mean thing. That's why he needs to go to jail. Uh, very few of them are like, he broke a law. It's it's like he yelled at someone and then he said a bad word when somebody asked him a question. And then there's other th- other more exciting uh, headlines like this one from Yahoo mirroring complex. Trump allegedly tried to grab steering wheel, lunged for agents throat in an attempt to go to capital take me to the capital take me oh he's lunging at the throats (laughs) of his security (laughs) officers and taking the wheel trump take the wheel white house aide cassidy hutchinson testified on tuesday that uh, donald trump attempted to grab the wheel of the presidential limo aka the beast he tried to take a hold of the the wheel of wheels of the beast he tried to take the reins of the beast and guide the beast to the capital insurrection on january 6th in an attempt to go to the capital after he was told by members of his detail that they were instead returning to the white house hutchinson the aide to white house chief of staff mark meadows has testified etc etc so um (laughs) it goes on but the, the hold on there's this part here during during her testimony hutchinson also said that trump threw his lunch at the wall in <laughs> anger after attorney general william barr publicly said the department of justice had found zero evidence of election fraud uh, quote i first noticed there was ketchup dripping down the wall and there was a shattered porcelain plate on the floor she explained it's like a movie quote, you know, like, i know it's like, like the blood splatter it's like Ketchup, literal ketchup, uh-huh. you know, kind of like blood. Yeah. Quote, I grabbed a towel and started wiping the ketchup off the wall <laughs> to help the valet out. And he said something to the effect of, he's really ticked off about this. I would stay, stay clear of him for now. I'd be upset if uh, I put ketchup on the walls of the White House, too. Yeah, well, there you go. It's like, uh, it's blood, it's violence. Um, There was also this fun part, quote, Mrs. Hutchinson, when we were in the offstage announced tent, I was part of a conversation. Ooh, I was in the vicinity. I was, (laughs) so she says she was part of a conversation, then stops and says, I was in the vicinity of a conversation. Oh, and this will become a Yeah, this will become a theme with her. I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, quote, I don't effing care that they have a weapon, she testified. (laughs) Uh, Quote, (laughs) weapon. Weapon. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away. Let my people in. They can march to the Capitol from here. Let the people in. Take the effing mags away, she recounted in, uh, to committee investigators. So mags referring to magnetic uh, metal detectors that were used to, you know, keep people with guns or yeah, knives or whatever. You got MAGA there. and mags. That's, that's very I confusing. Know. I know. Uh, but so the, the, she, the headlines have been exploding with parts of this woman's testimony and you go back and you actually read the quotes and you listen to the clips and everything she says is sort of couched in hearsay or I overheard or somebody told me and things like this. So the Washington Times 
uh, comes out and they have uh, a little bit of a rebuttal here. The headline Secret Service reportedly denies Cassidy Hutchinson's January 6th tale. The Secret Service is reportedly denying a dramatic tale by the former White House aide that former President Trump tried to choke his Secret Service driver <laughs> in a fit of rage on January 6th, 2021. On Tuesday, Cassidy Hutchinson also told the White House Special Committee that an unhinged Mr. Trump tried to grab the presidential limousine steering wheel during the assault as he was driven from the Stop the Steal rally, citing, quote, a source close to the Secret Service. NBC News White House reporter Peter Alexander said Tuesday evening that this didn't happen. Quote, both Bobby Angle, the lead agent, and the presidential limousine SUV driver are prepared to testify under oath that neither man was assaulted and that Mr. Trump never lunged for the steering wheel, Mr. <laughs> Alexander posted on Twitter. Oopsie daisies. Sorry, Mrs. Hutchinson, but you're not seeing any follow up headlines about this. No, 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 because that's not very exciting. And we all know that Trump is a wild lunatic who chokes out his Secret Service agents because, my gosh, Trump is just so strong and agile that he's able to <laughs> to uh, to assault professionally trained <laughs> combat experts uh there's, yeah. I, I, there's something so, eschatological about him trying to control the beast oh you know, like course, the imagery of, of him he takes the reins takes the reign he's of the, the harlot beast. riding the <laughs> <laughs> there it is he riding is the, the harlot yeah. it's trump solved the harlot. mystery babylon the whore of babylon <laughs> is trump <laughs> speaking <laughs> of the system we beat the beast system so and this was interesting because uh, I don't have it right in front of me. I believe the the uh, the actual quote from her testimony was something like uh, somebody told me. Oh, yes, or, I have it here. I, yeah. I over not overheard, but yeah. Oh, you do. I have, have it. it. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's in the Vice article here. Vice mm -hmm. headline. Trump knew Jan six protesters were armed and told them to go to the Capitol anyway. And it's got the same effing quote thing there. Yep. Um, but then it says here, I had the original one highlighted. I don't know what happened to my highlights. Um, I'm trying to find it here. Um, uh, let's see. Well, while, while you look for it, yeah. um, it's, it's hilarious because her entire thing was based on, uh, claim after claim. And every single one of these, she would kind of be like, mm -hmm, yeah, somebody told me, mm, I kind of heard this from someone and, da, da, da. and it's taken as truth. Hmm. It's taken as under oath sort of testimony, uh, reliable testimony. Um, but I think it's hilarious because that was Trump's thing. Do you yeah. remember how he would all throughout his presidency, the most, especially when he was about to say something inflammatory, right. he would always say, well, I, just, I don't I know, heard, but I've I been heard, told. I don't, I don't know. I heard. I don't know. Yeah. I've been told. People have told, told me that Biden been told. is a booby pants. I didn't say it. <laughs> I've been told. Uh, uh, and. Over and over and over, he says this, yeah. and they they started catching on, and they were, you know, Chris Shilzilla and all these quote unquote political analysts would point out like, ooh, he lies so much, but he hides it with saying that he was told something. What a brilliant rhetorician and and liar he is. <laughs> yeah, and he's yet, a genius and a crazy liar at the same time. They couldn't make make up their mind a lot of times, you know. Uh -huh. Genius, especially mastermind. Chris. Chris yeah, has Chris, a complicated yeah, relationship. Complicated. Uh, it says um, here, but the, I have the yeah. quote or the the, okay. the line out of the article from Vice. Hutchinson said, "Okay, Hutchinson said, Secret Service head Tony Ornato, an other agent, uh, and another agent told her that once inside the presidential limousine known as the Beast, Trump." told them something to the effect of, quote, I'm the effing president. Take me up to the Capitol now and tried to grab at the steering wheel when they told him they're returning to the West Wing. Yeah. So, they, so somebody had told her something. To, I mean, she but claims. the Vice article names the guy, Tony Ornato, which is probably why the guy's like, not true. This is not, this is not true. That. Didn't say that. Hutchinson, why yeah. are you revealing stories so, that I've tell, told you? Yeah. So this is the state, again, of journalism in the United States. It is the state of the uh, primetime television event of the summer, the, the January 6th committee 
entertainment property yeah um is really just filled with uh, questionable material mm. and surprise surprise but it's doing a great job of crafting a narrative very very few people who are paying attention uh will ever hear that her testimony was almost completely bogus yeah um but what are you gonna do 